All right, what's going on guys? This is Maury from the Erie Better Beer Bureau. Today I got a couple guest reviewers with me. I got Brandon and Brian, and uh, we got the latest backstage release from Founders. It's the Project Pam. It's uh, Imperial Black IPA aged in maple syrup bourbon barrels. Um, I'm not sure, do either of you guys know how long they aged it in the barrels? I have no idea. Not 100%. Yeah, and I don't know that they disclosed that. It's 10.4% alcohol, and so we're going to go ahead and get into it, and we'll let you know what we think about it. I get kind of like a, like a, almost like a tropical, like, yeah, there's, there's like a guava or a really kind of coconut fruit. thing off of it. I can see the coconut in it. I was expecting more hops on the nose, yeah. like, you know, being that it's a, like, I don't know that I'm getting hops, maybe in the way of like kind of a tropical fruit type of aroma, but like, I'm not getting that, like a piney hop bitterness or right, anything Right, nothing really in your aroma. face. We're getting a lot. You can definitely smell the bourbon. Yeah. <laughs> and I think that's what it is. I think the, that kind of like tropical kind of coconut guava type of thing I'm getting is the maple syrup barrels combining with the hops just making for a pretty unique aroma. But I've never smelled anything quite like it. It's definitely unique. I mean, it's... Nothing too in your face, but you're right. It, it is more of a, a a coconut type aroma. I mean, it's not like yeah. the maple's not like separately prominent, and you know you can smell everything. You know, it's got a good aroma. I mean, right. It's well balanced, but it kind of throws it into a loop of nothing's really sticking out over anything else. Cheers. Cheers. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, it is. You don't get any or much bitterness at all. No, no. <laughs> I was thinking. I was thinking, man, you know, it's gonna come out on the taste for yeah. sure. Um, but really, it kind of follows the aroma. I get the maple like sweetness, but I almost get kind of that fruity character. Um, that I was getting on the aroma carries over into the taste for me and I still get that kind of like coconut thing which mm -hmm. easily can be coming from the barrel. Yeah. I mean everyone knows you get coconut, you get vanilla uh, from a bourbon barrel sometimes but like this is more <laughs> like a tropical like daiquiri type of one yeah. for me. <laughs> I'm getting a little roastiness. Yeah, a little, I do get a little roastiness on the, on the palate. And I think the alcohol is pretty well hidden. I mean it, you know, 10% not a monster, but it's up there and it's kind of kind of hidden pretty decent. I'm gonna give it a four out of five. I uh, personally think that it would have scored a little higher if it had a little bit of the, the hot bitterness into it to mellow out the, the sweetness from mm -hmm. the, the maple. But I think it's a, a solid beer. It's one of the better backstages that has come out recently. Yeah, I agree with that. So four overall from you? Yep. I think I'm going to agree with Brandon. Uh, I was kind of four, four, two, five. Um, I think that there could have been some things that could have really changed this beer for the better. Um, there is the maple sweetness on it, um, but I think the hops would have really kind of separated those two um, and kind of maybe taken us away from that like coconut aroma um, as well as on the flavor. Sure. Um, but I. I, I'm going to stick with a four. Um, it's a solid beer. Yeah. I'm also going to give it a four. Uh, you know, I was kind of going back and forth between a four and, and even a 4.25, because like Brandon uh, said, I feel like it's definitely one of the better backstage series beers in a while. I mean, I, I do like Blushing Monk, but some of the other ones they put out recently, um, you know, Redanculous and Big Luscious, it's not that I didn't think they were decent beers. But, like, 
you know, Big Luscious was it was just too sweet for too me. Sweet. Correct. Um, I'd rather have that sweetness in a fruit beer like Blushing yeah. Monk rather than having it in a dark beer. Uh, so Big Luscious really was artificial. was probably my least favorite uh, backstage series, along with Frangelic Mountain Brown, just because <laughs> I did not like that artificial hazelnut flavor. But this beer, um, yes, I was expecting more hops. I don't know that I want more hops uh, because I like to... Um, idea of letting those maple syrup bourbon barrels kind of shine and so for the style you would definitely expect more hops uh, but I kind of like the you know the coconut kind of tropical thing that I'm getting off this beer not a, at all what I was expecting um, especially if you read the label right to, you know exactly you, but like yeah. if you're reading the label and you kind of look at it and you're like oh you know there's some maple and you know it's in bourbon barrels and, and it's an IPA right you, you know, know? But you don't um, expect that coconut. But I actually like the flavors of the beer quite a bit. So, yeah, I'm going to give it a four as well. So, till next time, guys. Cheers. Okay.